Good afternoon, it's Pete at Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. And today, wow, we've got the biggest of the smallest or something to that effect. This is Grand Designs Imagine AIM. That's Adventures in Motion. This is a 2023 unit, model number on this is 18BH. 2023, fresh off the assembly line. And again, this is coming to you, compliments of Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. Okay, when I said the biggest of the smallest, well, the AIM lineup, Adventures in Motion, are the single axle, slightly smaller units, smaller footprint units by Imagine. This is the largest one of the four models that I'm aware of. This is the 18BH, yes, a bunkhouse unit. Let's dig in. Okay, here we go with the regular front as you would expect. And the diamond plate rock chip guard down below. Power tongue jack with the docking light on for it there. Twin 20 pound LP tanks and the deluxe molded easy access top cover carrier. Yes, that's where your battery will go upon ship out. That's something we can certainly help you with here upon ship out. Okay, off across the outside of the, the back side, the off side here, the campsite, obviously a slide out floor plan on this 18 BH. Let's start with motion activated lights. How about that? Both of them and two lights on the pass-through here. Generous pass-through for, again, a unit with a slightly smaller footprint. All right, here we go. Go solar right up on top, and it's already installed, ready to go. So you got your solar package installed on this particular unit. All right, tire link is also on there for remote tire monitoring of your tire pressure. And that's all the more important, especially with a single axle trailer, right? Okay. Here we go with coax connections for exterior mount of a uh, park cable or if you wish an auxiliary sort of a satellite setup if you wish valve work for you right there here is your input for city water and exterior shower action right there now of course as usual don't think necessarily in terms of uh, uh taking a shower on here unless you're a nudist or something like that well then maybe no don't go don't go there but anyway <laughs> You use it for washing off. Think about washing off your bikes or your feet after you come back from the beach or something like that. Very useful. And down underneath, four integral frame mounted stabilizer jacks. One obviously to each corner. Schwintech on the slide out. Exterior vented ducted range hood. Comes out right there. All right, and down underneath here, there's your radial tires. Nitrogen filled radial tires on the deluxe brushed aluminum rims. Up over here, we do have black tank flush. Standard on the unit, and there's your gravity water filler there. Oh, I bet you're wondering water capacity. 42 gallons fresh water capacity here. 74 gallons on the gray and black tank comes in at 37 gallons. All right, valve assembly down underneath here. And, okay, here's something else for a smaller footprint unit. A great little extra. How about on-demand hot water? Endless hot water supply on here. Compliments of, well, onboard gas operated, uh, onboard. Ah, here we go. Try and get the cover open for you there. These are magnet grabs on them and lights in all of the storage areas on the unit. Not something you're gonna see necessarily on other units, right? Coming around past the off side, here is your roof access ladder. Full crown walk on roof up above, and you're prepped for the easy addition of a rear vision or backup camera of your choice up over the top. Twist lock cord is down here for the electrical service. That's a 30 amp twist lock electrical cord set. Down underneath for a unit of this size. Yay, look, here we go. This is a class two size, the smaller sized hitch because that's going to be intended for use for a smaller bike rack or other accessory hitch uh, device. Okay, here is your, this would be your port for the uh, use of the exterior water uh, with the included hose. Think about cleaning off your, your awning as you bring it back in. I wasn't able to get the awning fully deployed on here. As you can tell, we have some close proximity things going on here, but nonetheless, 12 volt activated retractable uh, awning on there and a very generous size on that too. I'm going to say it's gonna be in the ballpark of 14 feet perhaps. You may wanna double check that with me in the propaganda, maybe even a little bit bigger than that, but very generous sized once again for a smaller footprint unit. Way cool. 
See, I told you, four integral frame mounted stabilizer jacks. There's number three of four. All right, here we go. This is the slide in the griddle system, and that's on the Moride uh, rails and the system on there. And you do have a quick connect underneath the bottom for the LP quick connect. You're done, clean it up, push it right back into its own pocket there, shut the hatch, off you go. <laughs> Way cool. All right, let's step back over here to the campsite, get a wider angle view of what you've got going on out here. We're talking about an unloaded vehicle weight of 4,064 pounds. That would mean the hitch weight is in the ballpark of 441 pounds. And GVWR, your gross vehicle weight rating, 5,495 pounds. Now, if you do your math on that and you want to subtract the uh, dry weight from the GVWR, you'll arrive at a figure right around 1,400, which uh, you could possibly consider in terms of your loading capacity, your cargo carrying capacity. All right, your inverter prep is right there. Very easy to add an inverter because it's all set and ready to go. Another motion activated light provided on this side. Of course, these are gonna be aluminum framed units with the uh, fiberglass exterior and that fabulous grand design warranty that goes along with the whole nine yards. All right, there we go, Look, go across the front. Let's step onto the interior again. Oh, you know what, before I do, I almost forgot. Solid piece, one piece stair set right there. That's gonna be the step above system, self storing Solid piece staircase. Open it up with another reminder. This presentation comes to compliments of Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. Okay, stepping into the interior here. This is featuring the Hearthstone, Hearthstone interior decor scheme. Other decor schemes may be available. Simply inquire on each individual unit. Okay, where do we start? We are really packing it in here. We got all sorts of stuff to consider. It's kind of, well, yeah, we're talking about 50 pounds of potatoes in a 20 pound bag, right? Well, all right, anyway, over to here. Now I've got the stools set up. They're collapsible bar stools. They store underneath the bed area very conveniently, or you can store them wherever you wish, obviously. Look at this counter space though. If you're not using that necessarily for dining, you could use that for food preparation, for, you know, dead bodies, for anything else you want. No, don't do that. Egress window in behind here. And this is the swing out arm TV here. And it has magnet grabs on it too. And they're very solid magnet grabs. Makes it very easy to stow that back into travel position. USB ports will round out. And uh, uh, the uh, GFC Abstract Electrical Outlets also will round out your accoutrements in here. Okay looking up and above here's your ac unit on there and i know you're gonna ask me what uh, i don't know the rating on the ac unit so uh please check that in the propaganda and as i approach look at that motion activated lighting also on your control panel here up above is going to be for your on-demand hot water heat that i got a little tongue-tied about earlier uh, anyway, systems monitor information comes on right there. Motion activated. It does include the Bluetooth Connect system on here. Makes monitoring of and operation of uh, all your necessary functions very easy from your smartphone or even a moderately dumb phone would probably still work, whichever. Uh, this is going to be a thermostat and that's going to apply for the use of the furnace. Awning controls and the slide out. Yeah, don't forget, we have a slide out in here, right? All kinds of extra space to the interior again for a smaller footprint unit hey here's where it meets the road here when you're talking for the kids right here's the bunks single bunk over with an egress window provided behind it and individual lights in under each bunk to boot we'll sneak in over here with the camera there you go with the utilities that are in for each bunk as you can see all right, now everybody's favorite room. <laughs> yeah, there we go, the hangout, right? Uh, here's gonna be your Dometic Marine Grade Foot Flush Stool, and that's a China Porcelain Stool, by the way, incidentally. Disappearing Shower Door adorns your shower area here. About a 10 inch step up into the shower, and you have fully ducted heat in the shower, in the bathroom here, by the way. If you didn't notice the duct right there, there you go. Full shower surround goes all the way up and 
the skylight overhead for Wilt the Stilt Chamberlain or the basketball player in your family, whoever that uh, you have plenty of head headroom in there to work with, right? Let's take a look at things from this angle. And I first came in here, I thought, oh, cool, diaper changing station. No, wait a minute, that's messed up. That ain't right. It isn't right. Here we go. Wah, just like that, and you got instant sink, hot and cold. There's your lavatory right like that. Now, you bet you're wondering, you don't see a drain hole in here, do you? Now, when you close it back up, it'll drain straight out and into the apparatus and on down to the gray tank. So you do have it. It is fully plugged in, right? Just so you know. The more you know. GFCI protected electrical outlet right to the left of the Biffy. If you're a multitasker, you can use your electric shaver. Uh, never mind. Uh, over here. Look at this storage. For a small foot footprint unit, this is truly amazing. I mean, you can't say enough about it. Let's go to wide angle and just whoop. There. Check that out. Mountains and mountains of storage through here. Pull out drawers too. And I just love it with the bar stools. Whoa. And look at the storage in underneath here too. You think about shoes or clothing or what have you not. Plenty of storage. They're really thinking it through here. Okay, on over to the sink area. We've got a modest amount of counter space to work with here, especially when you consider you've got the self-storing sink. Open it up, whoop, there you go. Ta-da, instant sink, right? And storage again below. Another heat duct provided there, generously apportioned. Here's where the slide out really pays off. Did look kind of small from the outside, didn't it? But look at how the clever use of space here. A little bit of room on either side of the Furion 2 burner high output range with lit controls, microwave oven, and over to the side. Now here we go with your Norcold gas and electric refrigerator and freezer. It does open all the way out when the bed is not set up. There's your pull out drawer for the freezer there. How about that? You know what? You're going to ask me this size on the refrigerator. Oh, jeez. I forgot to check that. Double check me on that. Now, here's the Murphy bed. We're going to start out with the Murphy bed in the deployed position. It does have the accent lighting in behind it. There's a switch for it. Controlled easily from when you're in bed. And we're making a left turn here because we have the left turn. No. All right. You know that old gag already. That's one touch and it's blue, like on the right, two touches, and you've got your reading light. His and her, you can decide who wants to do what, when, and, you know, just set your light accordingly, right? Okay, over to the side here, USB and 110 volt powered access. Charge your cell phone at night and 110 volt. Why? Well, what if one or both of you need a CPAP machine? That's really the first, uh, the first guess on that. I mean, there could be any number of things that might need to be plugged in there, even, who knows, a night light or what have you. You have that flexibility, right? Isn't that great? That head is way cool. Plenty of lighting. Look at these. The puck lights are all over. It's like a, a, like a hockey game gone wild or something here. This one's motion activated on the entryway there. And, of course, it was on when we came in. Hey, you know what? Let's fold up the Murphy bed here just, well, just because we can, right? I'm doing this one-handed. Bear in mind, right? i got to hold the camera up. So here we go. Fold this up like this. Here's the travel latch. Ah, I can almost get it. There. Now we've got it. Underneath here, we're talking about the jackknife bed or sofa, if you will. If you're a day sleeper, the kids want to take a quick short nap or what have you, well, there you go. You can use it that way. Again, it's all about flexibility, right? Otherwise, roll it around. Again, with one hand, there you go. Whoa, dude, cup holders too. <laughs> Way awesome on that. All right, let's go back to the uh, the regular lens here. You can see things a little more clearly there without the fisheye apparatus going. Wow, I think we covered a whole bunch of stuff in here. Oh, you know what I didn't mention though is that this particular unit has the Imagine AIM piece of mind package, the Imagine AIM ultimate power package, Imagine AIM four season protection package, and as we talked about earlier, that Imagine AIM solar package, right? So you got that 
rooftop panel and I know you're gonna ask me I'm gonna guess it's I think it's a hundred and ninety five watt panel on the roof please double check that with the stats and the propaganda as I always say but you do have that solar panel already installed all ready to go you're equipped you're well set for use off the grid and you know what we can take another look at the Norcold refrigerator here and there we go the more I think about it, I do believe this is a 12 volt refrigerator. So let me back, walk that back earlier where I mentioned it was gas and electric. I'm thinking, I think it's 12 volt in this case. Regardless, how cool with that slide out freezer drawer on there. Way cool, way neat. Wow, like I said, you know, you're really stuffing 50 pounds of potatoes in a 20 pound sack or something. We really got it together here. So. With that, we're going to sign off here. This presentation, again, coming to you from Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. This has been the 2023 Imagine AIM travel trailer model number 18BH by Grand Design. With a final reminder, again, this is coming to you from Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. Thank you much, and happy trails. See you around.